Uh, I don't know. It's just a read the defense type play, to be honest. Uh, Dutch told me uh, when you pop out, if you're not guarding, you take it. If not, hit Trey on the uh, on the baseline curl. But you know, <laughs> I looked at him I'm like, wow, like that's kind of disrespectful. But I gave it a second look, look for Trey, and he was he was taking a little too long, so I let it go. How good did that feel? I, mean, oh, I felt real good, but you know, couldn't get excited at, at, right away. We had to make sure they didn't get a a quick bucket up and down the stretch because they were for, for sure good for that. Man, Malik is my brother. You know, first and foremost, I want to say that. And I want to say, like, you know, I believed in him since day one. You know, I, I talk to him all the time. I tell him not to worry about it. Like, I always tell Zig, too. Like, you know, I'm the only player, I feel like, in the history of this whole school that knows what Malik has been going through. And you know, to come up with a big shot like that, you know, just to have the guts to even take it. You know, I mean, that's the type of stuff that, you know, you got to have to win the championship, you know? And uh, I'm just so proud of him, man. I, I can't be more happy for anybody else to have hit that shot, man. I mean, we needed it. Kind of like you're being a sigh of relief as you walk in, I mean. No, it's not a sigh of relief, you know? Like I said, to win championships is not easy, man. I mean, you're going to have to win a couple games like that. It's, I mean, it's not easy. I mean, you can't name one championship team that's just blown everybody out, swept everybody. I mean, you got to win these type of games. And I think it just shows to the character of our team, our leadership, our coaches, our camaraderie. I mean, it's just a – I can't explain the feeling, man. It seems like the, uh, the term team effort gets a little overblown sometimes, but this <coughs> seems like the absolute – we a team, you know. Since day one, I mean, I mean, if you look in our locker room, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, you could count on two hands the amount of guys that's gonna have a chance to play at the next level. So, I mean, if everybody plays up to their potential, I mean, this is a scary team. I mean, we still, I mean, we could even still get even better. So, I mean, it's just, it's just scary to think where we can go and the direction that we're headed in right now. Where is this game rank for you? I mean, you throw. I don't know. I try not to rank them, man. I, I love, you know, I just thank God every day that I can step on the court and put the uniform on and play, be out there with my brothers. And, you know, so they all, every game is special to me. I, I promise I mean that. You guys have a three and a half game lead over New Mexico now, a four game lead over Boise and anybody else. Um, are you aware of that? Or, or do you guys have sort of a higher goal of being a few in the league? We're definitely aware of it. But, you know, our work is not done. It's not even close to being done. So we just got we, we just got to stick with what we're doing. And uh, one, game at a time. one game at a time, baby. That's been our motto since, you know, the preseason. One game at a time. So. Is that in the back of your mind? Uh, like, what do you mean? Do, do we want to go 18-0? The first team, the undefeated didn't have one. Well, you can't do that if you don't win the next one. So we just got to take it one game at a time. That's boy preaching over there. Next to the Uh, it just it just happened to work in our favor. Malik Malik stayed on him, and that was my man. Malik was helping me, and Malik just ended up staying right there, and it ended up turning into a trap, and he turned the ball over. So that yeah, play was, that play worked into our favor. It was favor. a good call by our coach. Uh, he gave us the instructions to do that, and it worked out perfectly. What was the difference in the, between the first half and the second half? There was like 17 combined turnovers in the first half, and there were only five combined in the second half. It seemed like <clears throat> the game was played with a Every 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 halftime we analyze ourselves on our first half and we try to fix everything in the second half. So, I mean, hopefully we start off the games well and make sure there's not too much to to fix and get better on the second half. But we have seen a lot that we screwed up on and we fixed it in the second half. And yeah, in the first half we were just we were forcing things, especially me. I had like two turn two turnovers back to back and I was just moving too fast and not getting the ball up and Coach Fish talked to me during halftime and I tried to just slow down during the second half and just uh, just go out what the defense gave me. Is that the most physical game you guys think you played this year? No. Yeah, you guys say that every time we come up here. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. well, you, I don't think you were in the game right before that last play in regulation. Mm, no, I wasn't. 
when did you find out you were going in and the play was, was coming to you? When Fish told me to get subbed in at the timeout, uh, he just, the Dutch called the number and he was like, all right, we're going to run this play. Let's give Malik some credit because, you know, he just hit a big shot, but the play really wasn't for Malik. It was really for Trey. You know, so, I mean, that go to show you even more, you know, how much guts he got. You know, the, the, the play was to look for another, somebody else. And in basketball, we have a saying, you know, you got to play ball. So I think his guy was, I don't know who that guy is, not guarding Malik at the three. It was Adams. Um, and I think, I think. Um, I don't know. We're not sure who it was. But, you know, the, if you're not going to guard him, then, I mean, the play wouldn't work anyway. So the guy had to respect him, and Malik just pulled up. And thank God he made it, you know. Thank God. Winston, if you look, there's obviously the light in every game, but just to kind of watch your manners throughout the game, a lot of conversation with the Mexico, a lot of elation at the end. Did this game have a, a different mean to you, whether it was just? Not at all. You know, <laughs> being Winston Shepard, you know, no matter where I go, no matter if we're on the road, if we're at home, you know, everybody tries to heckle me, you know, always. I mean, if, you know, whether it's the fans, the, the players on the bench, the opposite coaches, I mean, I don't know if guys feel like, you know, that's how they're going to get an edge on me or, you know, if they feel like they could try to take me out of my game. Now, I won't get into specifics, but, you know, there were some things being said back and forth, but that's basketball. You know, a player like myself, I love it. It just makes me step my game up. And, you know, so credit to them. And uh, it was a big win. And uh, we're proud that we got it. So you'd be proud of about sort of defying when somebody tries to get at you and you went out in the end. Or something, do you like to carry that pride with you? Uh, you know, I'm a prideful person either way, so, you know, I would have had the same pride regardless of the outcome. You know, that's just how I was raised. That's just how I carried myself. So, I love it, man. Coach Dio pulled you aside a couple times there and said some things to you. Is that what you're talking about or is that just... Uh, you know, I won't get into specifics, man. New Mexico got a great coach. I love their coach. I love their players. I love the way they play. You know, I love how hard they play against us. You know, so I got nothing but praise for those guys. He's not sitting up here, but can you guys talk to what Sky did in the second half? It's what he's been doing since day one. You know, I don't even, it's not, it, it really doesn't surprise me anymore. You know, it's, it's what he's been doing since day one, man. And, you know, this program would not be where we're at if we did not have Sky Spencer. I believe that with all my heart. Probably our most indispensable player. I mean, I don't think we can do what we really want to do without Sky Spencer. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, we for sure saw that. Why would I put my head down? You know, that was a tough shot. Yeah. I thought I played excellently D on that play. You know, so I mean, I take my head off to him. You know, if my my theory is, you know, if if a guy's gonna have to hit from 30 feet on me, then I'll take my chances. I, I really will. So I, I thought I played excellent defense. I thought Skyler stepped up and helped. And the guy hit a hell of a shot. He's a hell of a player. You know, I've been playing against him for a while now. So, you know, big shot. Tip my hat to him. You guys better enjoy him while you're here. That's all I got to say. Yeah. He's very effective offensively. Very aggressive. When you look back at plays like the ball going off the foot or the guy stepping out of bounds and just the way these things seem to be sort of building up over the last couple of weeks, do you just kind of step back and go, how do these, how do these things keep happening, these little things that make it happen this opportunity? Are you trying to get at that we were lucky, or is that what you're trying to get no, at? Or actually, what? actually, no, because you have to. Yeah, because I mean, you have to complete it after it happens. It's our defense. Right. I mean, that's what I would say. You know, I mean, I'm sure guys across the country and in the conference, oh man, those guys are lucky. But you know, I just take a step back. I don't care if you go to Vegas or wherever you're. You're not gonna get a luck. You're not gonna get lucky 11 times in a row. I mean, you're just not. So, just credit our whole coaching staff. Credit our team. You know, we 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 have no quit. No. No let up. We don't put our heads down. We don't point the finger. I mean, a lot of teams would have folded. I think they went up three, six points, three or six points, however much they went up in a crucial segment of the game. But, you know, we, we, we just looked at each other and said, all right, we're going to go win this game. And we just went and made it happen.